Hey, it's Craig at Best Choice Trailers. So they're going to take a walk around a Bear Track 7x20 aluminum frame car hauler. Everything you see here is standard equipment except for the front rock guard. Again, this unit is a 10,000 pound GVW. We also stock this in a 7,000 pound GVW as well. So, again, the only piece of optional equipment on this trailer would be the rock guard, which is a removable piece of equipment. It is bolt on. As you can see here, if you see one of these uh, in inventory, we can take the rock guard off of it. So other than that, again, everything's standard. A 7x20 trailer like this weighs in at about 1875. It's going to give a net legal payload of about 8,100 pounds. Let's take a walk around the trailer, show you all the standard features. So like many of your aluminum trailers in the market, it does, does have a center wishbone style setup on the tongue. Then you've got your outer draw bars as well. You've got a swivel jack standard as well as a Demco coupler. It is the easy latch style, so it automatically latches as you put it down. Standard seven pin RV blade, RV, uh, RV style plug. It is a dual prong connection. And then you've got your safety chains. Safety chains are fairly heavy duty for a 10K trailer. Notice it is a zinc or similar uh, coupler. Not really much to rust or corrode on this particular trailer. I'll show you. Bear Track does a, a pretty top-notch job at uh, giving you a trailer that should last a long time, which, going back to that corrosion, even the bolts uh, on these, they run uh, in a corrosion-free uh, setup. Your decking, of course, there's no wood. It's all going to be your extruded aluminum floor. Uh, like most of your trailers that are designed as an aluminum frame, a, aluminum floor, uh, the decking goes into your uh, side uh, side skirts and then, of course, run perpendicular to trailer. Generally, you can tell a trailer that's designed as wood because cross members are going to run parallel to the trailer. But on this, uh, you've got the custom die side rail that the, uh, the extruded floor terminates into. Of course, this trailer does have LED lights. Stick my head underneath it here to show you so generally when a trailer is designed as an extruded floor you'll see generally three runners spaced roughly evenly uh, they'll handle your weight and then they'll terminate into your side frame notice that the main beam on this is a wide flange i-beam and of course you got your undermount ramps uh, the ramps uh, are a little bit longer than most that's uh, the benefit of of having them uh, where they are you can get a little bit longer ramp Notice they do a pretty quality job, even on little details like the ramp holder. Uh, I'd also point out, if you stick your hunt under a lot of aluminum car haulers, you'll find that they're not welded uh, on every rib. This one here, you'll notice is. And then, of course, your uh, center draw bar underneath. If we look back, you'll see it's a torsion axle, standard equipment. On the fender, you'll notice the fender gusset diamond plate fender. Uh, this one's going to have a 225-75 R15 radial tire and your aluminum wheels. Uh, even little details on these like how they're cut out and notched to go around your axle beams, reinforcement at the center of your uh, fender. It's all top quality. If you also even look at the beaver tail, it's pretty slick the way this is built out. Got the beaver tail with your gusset plate. Just a very well put together trailer. Underneath you'll notice uh, the I-beam terminates the tube, beaver tail supported off that. Of course your D-ring's got its backer plate underneath. This reminds me of uh, a name brand manufacturer that's been bought and sold a few times uh, that used to build a pretty quality trailer. Uh, Kind of like this, but even this is, I'll say, a little bit more precision than that particular brand was. Stop turn tails on either side, center uh, marker indicator. You've got a solid ramp. Gives you a nice low angle, and again, no, uh, no grooves like your traditional channel with your angles. Solid all the way up on. So the beaver tail on this... Uh, is optional we do uh we do do ours with the beaver tail just gives you a little bit lower load angle makes it a little bit nicer to load on so this particular unit is a 20 footer generally uh, 
10K trailers, we generally do in a 20 foot length. That's gonna give you 18 foot a flat and a two foot dove. Just again, going back up to your rock guard, the shear's removable. It's uh, all aluminum perimeter frame, drops down in, sits right on top of your headache rack. Uh, your ramps, again, little details we like about bear track, and there's a lot of little things to like. The more you look, the more you find that you like. Just grommets help keep everything from rattling around. Very simple setup. Standard hook on the end of the ramps. So this trailer is going to be roughly 82 inches fender to fender. Most of the industry is all going to call these a seven foot wide, but your true measurement is about 82. Pull your fenders off as they are removable. You're going to end up getting about 87 inches from tire to tire for loading purposes. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220. You can always visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.